show we wanted. It's a show we're getting. Grand Finals now begins for 3v3 championships for North America right back uh, to pretty much where they started. It's where we've been at pretty much all day. Yep, we're on Black Guard, baby. Game one, we are not seeing the Lord Brax from Cody that he swapped to towards the end of the set that helps secure the victory. No, he's coming in Diana from game one like he did previously against this team. I like it, too. Oh, I like Luna's edge guard right now, too. That side light almost leading to a good jump call, but Faison's gonna box his way out. Meanwhile, in the center, a pretty common theme is Pugsy taking a lot of damage early, but a theme that they need oh, to Faison. stop is oh, yes. Jaffa getting stock losses early. Faison, oh, Faison already getting two to start things off. He is so nasty. We saw him fight Java over there, extended all the way to the end of that soft platform, getting him the D-Light side air KO at the beginning stages of red. Bro, he has, all three. has just wiped the entire red team. I swear he's like Jackie Chan, and they're fighting him one at a time, and this you shouldn't do that. This, which, is, this isn't a movie. You don't have to do that. Which talisman does he have right now? Uh, I don't know. I never watched that show. You mogwe gwai vai vi zao. So uh, right now, uh, let's see if the W can continue. Uh, but one more thing. Uh, Snowy is once again holding on to the stock very well. And uh, Faison is going to finally fall to the shutdown from Java. And actually, Snowy falling shortly after. That's been a pretty common theme. Red team has lost their stock quickly uh, for uh, Luna, Java, and uh, Cody Travis. But they have answered back quickly after they have had that happen. Great side air from Java there to take out Pugsy. Sent him on his final stock well before anyone else in the game. It started off with, I think, some pressure from Luna. I can't remember who actually fed Faison over to Java or Pugsy over to Java. So good work from the red team. Great follow-ups. And then Java stuck around to clean that one up. The axe tosses or the axe weapon hits are flying. We hear it from Snowy. Faison takes yet another KO. That is all four KOs so far have been on Faison. Very similar thing between both teams is that both Java and Pugsy get set down the one quickly, but it's on which one He's going to do it again. Get oh. He almost had it. And Java gets the side and he needed on Faison. They have a big triple up moment right here. Pugsy falls. Java currently getting stuck by Faison. However, everybody somehow sneaks away. The only one who fell and missed all that was Pugsy. That's exactly what the red team needed. And all of the conflict that was going on, it happened to be Pugsy that fell, was sent basically through that soft platform all the way down to the bottom blast zone. Even though Faison is not, that's another KO and another KO. Is Bro, that? Faison, yeah, does Faison have every single knockout Every in single this match? one so far. Absolutely. <laughs> Two stocks have been taken from each player. Three players is six stocks. He's been dominating twice on his first stock and then on his second stock. That equals six. That's actual insanity. Faison is covering where they needed them most. They're lucky that they're even still in this game the way that they've been playing. But uh, Snowy getting covered heavy and their main target of focus uh, should be Snowy. I don't disagree with that. They're kind of just letting phase on rock, getting that double cider, but you need to get rid of Snowy. That way you can hopefully stop this mayhem that has been phase on. They're hoping to leave it to Cody while they put the 2v1 against phase on. If, if they do the 2v1 against phase on, he's just going to knock both of them out. Bro. Okay. Yeah, all right. True. So <laughs> true. True, bestie. Faison is cooking right now. Recovery comes through for Snowy. I think Faison is in a better spot right now than the two of them. It is as possible. He falls, but Not my anymore. God, what a run from Faison in that. Please, let's get a nice close up on those knockouts. Seven, seven, zero, uh, zero seven, each. 17 damage, too. He did so much work that game. Actual hard carry right there. He was exact. Boom. Like, look, look at it. It's gone. Oh, and it's come gone. on, dog. It's, it's, come on. It's gone. You only got to see it for a glimpse. That's yeah. it. Seven. The, Seven. The, the brightest stars burn out the fastest. True. Because we got to see if he can do that again. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, man, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you're going to need to replicate He's, that again, somehow. <laughs> the best Brawlhalla we've ever seen phase on play has always been on the Kaya, or at least in this case, it's the Pearl. Mm -hmm. That could continue today. 717 damage, seven KOs. Anybody that was fed to him, anyone that was in his area was suddenly in the Blast Zones area, was suddenly <laughs> done. Was crazy. Shoot up, spit out, get him out of here. Just stop fighting Faison. Just like literally leave him alone. Uh, let him live his best life. Go, go try to, Pugsy's falling early. Go after that one. But even after Pugsy fell, Faison was just fine. Like, yep. that, that's fine. That's more, that's more knockouts for me. We're going to run it right back. Um, I I don't even know how you shift this pace, right? Because they won still, but if Faison continues to play the way they were just playing and Snowy or Pugsy wake up, you're going to oh, be in Pugsy, for trouble. Oh, Pugsy, dude. Oh, no. no. 
Oh, oh that was a like 14 second so stock he's gonna fall loss. Too. He almost oh fell. If God. he would have been orange, that would have been done. Java getting the neutral air, giving himself the chase dodge. Good work from Luna there to realize hitting my teammate doesn't do anything really because I would just end up hitting them away from the wall. So I get hit, giving them the chase dodge so they can get up and touch the wall. Yeah, and Faison is actually taking a lot of damage this time right now. And the most important thing is that they're separating him away from the teammates because that's where most of it's come through. But that ground pound sneaking its way through, catching Faison, slipping up for a change after what we saw with that first game. Oh, Java's gonna end up falling there. But Cody, dude, he's so healthy. He's not on the tankiest legend either. It's not like she's a glass cannon or anything like that, but she's definitely not super tanky, and yet he's only in orange. Meanwhile, Pugsy, an actual low defense legend, is very close to being on final stocks before anyone else in the game. Also, something they needed very bad, Sparky, is that Luna needed to like get some job get the job done, and he has been. Even yep. though he fell early, he's still getting damage in. He got that knockout onto Snowy where it was necessary, and it, it's been, not been nearly as bad as before. Granted, at the current moment, uh, kind of struggling to get back on the soft platform, and so is Java. Cody living his best life in the center, and that's kind of been the theme so far of the set. So we're seeing a good result so far if you're on the red team, because they're knocking out Pugsy early like they were doing previously, so that's consistent. Yeah. That was strong, that helped them win the previous game. Now, they're also doing a lot of damage onto phase on it, taking him out early, so he's not able to do what really kept the blue team in the running last game. And Pugsy looking over there at his teammate, thriving on the other side of the team. It's like, man, I should call him. Well, he's right there, and he's not picking up, and Luna is going to fall down to the last stock. Phase on, however, uh, well, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna have to check all my statement. Well, I was gonna say that phase on is holding onto that very well. Uh, oh, it's now this is not good. Oh, Pugsy just ended up taking like four hits between Java and Luna. There were some great follow-up options happening there. Oh, you even see Luna, he gets the hit on Phazon, disengages from that and immediately moves to Pugsy. Yeah, smart call. Oh, Luna wanted that right there. That just missed. Pugsy cannot, actually Pugsy can barely afford to get in the fray. Uh, this is actually really bad, especially because Pugsy's unarmed right now. Uh, you see Cody moving his way back in towards center. Was gonna get that weapon. Honestly, I think it's better in the hands of Phazon at the moment anyways. Yeah, because Pugsy might just be taken out regardless of what is in his hands. Whoa, beautiful read on the that spot dodge. Calling that one out, hitting the side light, turn around, neutral signature. That was so good. Unfortunately, Pugsy fell right after. Yeah. But that was literally on phase on reading that, uh, I think it was Cody trying to go over there and stopping him from getting in. He lets him get the weapon spawn, but Pugsy falls. Now we have yet another 2v3 with Snowy going down, phase on very unhealthy right now. The red team doesn't actually pressure face on too much, even though he was super red and they had the man advantage while Snowy was spawning back into this one. Now they're putting some pressure out on him. Hit the cider. He's going to be able to recover back, but now they turn over to Snowy. Immediate interruption. Yo, they do the 2v1 combo, turning him orange very quickly. Signature to end that one. Not quite red yet, but very close. I mean, I think that that was the right call of the leaf phase on alone the whole time. Anytime someone has chosen that they want to scrap a phase on, usually bad things have occurred. And they do get phase on the fall first. Weapon toss goes down. There's not really many options you can choose that are going to be correct as Snowy tries his best to sneak through. Not enough is going to matter, though. And we see a 2 0 lead here in Grand Finals. Anytime that taunt comes out, uh, I just hear a fart. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I I, was, I just hear a fart every time. Sparky, I was literally keeping that in my head the whole time, just thinking about it. I had it. to say it. The first time I heard it, I literally looked over at you. Yeah, and I, was I had like, to say it. I'm sorry. I was like, was that you, bro? <laughs> uh, look, I'm sorry. I had to say it, or otherwise I was going to laugh. Chat, I just need you to know. I've been mature I, all day. I just need you to know how much Sparky's being judged in the in our ears by I, production right now. That's all you need to know. Look, man. <laughs> Linfei Cannon Side Signature also sounds like a fart. Try it again. <laughs> okay. Try it again. All right. Well, you know, all it is is... All right, look, he's just gassing up the fact that the, the, the Luna, Travis, Cody, Travis, and Java are doing amazing right now. Yep. And, uh, I mean, like, I don't really know how much else we can find an answer around, like, what they've been doing. Pugsy has been getting, like, swamped every time. He also, like, losing that stock very early. I think it's in, like, the orange tops yep. when he fell on that first one. Everything started derailing past that. As we get into game number three, see if we can finally find an answer to keep them in the game. Now we are seeing no character swaps whatsoever coming out from this blue team, and we're not seeing a map swap either. We're still going back to Blackguard. I don't think a map would necessarily change too many things I don't think so. going on, because we're seeing a lot of team follow-ups that are happening, even though we're on a gigantic map. We're seeing occasional 1v1 play, like we're seeing on the left side here, but in comes Java! <laughs> let GC Pugsy. neutral signature! He can't play. Let, Pl let Pugsy play the game. Okay, he joined the tournament to stop unplugging the controller.
one. But Pugsy literally has been every single time he's in a bad spot off stage. There's two people who go after him because they've just realized you are currently the weakest link. Goodbye. Take him out of the game, and he can't. He can't do anything. A like, Pugsy has the clutch factor. We've seen him do it, even though he plays low defense legends. We know it happens in 2v2. We know it happens in 1v1. We know it has the potential to happen in 3v3, unless they go so hard and oh shut him God. down, and also shut down Phazon, and also shut down Snowy. Sparky, there's currently a song going through my head. It uh, goes by, look away, look away, because there is a whole series of unfortunate events happening to the blue team. Pugsy already pretty damaged. Phazon's great clutchness that he had that first game has been getting cooked. That said, though, unfortunate events aren't actually that bad now all of a sudden. The red team all losing their stocks three in a row. Eyes are still on Pugsy on this one. Snowy yeah. fighting Java on the right side. Pugsy sent very high possible juggle, juggle opportunities coming out. Sent Sweaty. off screen. Oh. Is red team going to push this one? No, not too hard. They're going to let him get back to the main platform. But, oh, what a spot dodge through that side air. Great punish from Pugsy as well. Yeah, and uh, Snowy doing his best to try and send Java off screen. Java is also pretty unhealthy too. But Snowy actually infects. He gets sent away. Pugsy has two bodies in the middle of him. on doing his best to get in the middle. But doesn't matter. D-Light Recovery is going to take Pugsy off the top, and they're getting that much closer to getting that victory here today. It's crazy how we saw Pugsy phase on at Snowy 3-0 while she dog and Cutie pretty confidently, mm -hmm. and then now we have them possibly losing 0-3, no reset needed to Luna, Cody, and Java. This is the same team who almost reversed 3 0 them at the same time as well. Like, that went down to final stock each. That can't be stressed enough. They were on one stock piece in Winner's Finals, almost knocking them out now we are getting getting closer to that one stock of peace situation now they need to get to cody travis asap but I, I, they, like at least pugsy has been taking way less damage so far that is true but i mean same thing kind of goes for cody the cody survivability factor is not an issue anymore yeah he has seemingly remedied that situation all together he is in the red but i mean look at everybody else pugsy's taking the damage snowy's taking the damage Bazon's taking the damage java also taking the damage this could one could be down to the wire if not for cody being on a second stock that's actually still. a great point i mean that happened yesterday with tm right and it's happened here today there was one point where we looked at that graphic and cody had 200 damage and 500 taken yeah. this today has completely shifted as we look at the red team getting ready to seal that victory and we have your north american 3v3 champions that's going to be Luna, Cody Travis, and Java. They did it. They did it. They came out. They got the victory here. Luna, Cody Travis, and Java, your second seed, coming out on top over your first seed, Pugsy, Faison, and Snowy with a 3-0 in grand finals. Amazing job from them. Continuing the tradition of the left side graphic victory. And That's true. that is also an incredible crowd to hold on to because it's not the tournament you see too often. So you get to hold on to this flex for quite some bit. Uh, I believe this is also at BCX as well. So you get to have a run back. I'm the can't confirm off the top of my head. Can I literally production, have no clue. Production, please remind me uh, if they're at BCX. I'm I, not believe, on I, team believe, on this one. I believe this is also at BCX. I have no clue. I think so. Yes, maybe? No? no? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Ajax I, is I literally hoping, lying. I was Ajax hoping. Ajax is lying. All right. I